I can't see shades of gray, my eyes are bugging out, or I have a headache, or I'm throwing up, or my knees hurt. Why do the symptoms vary so much with mast cell yeah. syndrome? And that's the most difficult piece of it. And that's where it's really hard for patients to understand and definitely for their doctors, right? And that's because mast cells are really, right, they're in all your tissue organs. And if you have a set of mast cells that are more dysfunctional in one part of the body, but somebody else has mast cells that are more dysfunctional in another part of their body, right, you're going to have completely different symptoms. And there's something about the genetics of the mast cells themselves that dictates what they're actually producing, which mediators or cytokines are they producing. So if the mast cells are making more histamine, you might have a set of symptoms related to histamine. If the mast cells are making more heparin, and we know that heparin, which is a blood thinner, is made in the body by mast cells. And so when I see a woman, for instance, who has dysfunctional uterine bleeding, excessive bleeding, and I think she has mast cell activation syndrome, I'm going to be suspicious of heparin because I'm looking at the excessive blood loss. So the factors are parts of the body and what the mast cells are actually producing.